guys, I hope you're well and welcome back. As you can see, I've got no makeup. I thought I'd start this video like how I used to when I did makeup tutorials and start it with a fresh face, no makeup, looking like poo. <laughs> so I thought today I would film a makeup tutorial or a makeup look. I haven't done one of these for ages and it's autumn now, which means my favorite makeup look is back. Shall we get going? I think we should get going. Let's get going. <laughs> So first up, I use this simple moisturiser. I find it really light under makeup. It works really well under a primer. It gives my skin the moisture that it needs. And it's also really good if, like me, you've got slightly sensitive skin. And then I have this Bourjois Happy Light Primer. Again, if you guys watch my makeup videos, you have seen this so many times. But I just really like this under my makeup. It just makes my foundation stick all day long. Then I'm applying some concealer. And this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Flawless Wear Concealer and I like to apply this now with a brush and today I'm using my Real Techniques brush. I think this is the Expert Face Brush. So for my foundation, I like to mix two foundations up. I mix the Happy Light Bourjois Foundation and then I use my NARS Sheer Glow in Gobi and I find that these two mixed together create the perfect colour for my skin. I do like to powder under my eyes, so then I'm using my number seven translucent loose powder and then using the little sponge that it comes with, I just dab that in and dab it around underneath my eyes. And then I'm gonna use my NARS Laguna bronzer just for a bit of a contour and I'm using my Sigma small contour brush just to do this and I like to apply the contour just to the hollows of my cheekbones and then I'm going to go in with some blusher and this is by MAC, it's called Copper Tone, which again for autumn is a brilliant colour. And then next up of course is some highlight and I am using the Too Faced Candlelight Glow. Highlight for me is a really good way to add a little bit of your dewy glow back into a matte foundation. So then it is time to do my brows. First I just like to brush them through with a little spoolie. I think that's what they're called. Then I'm using this sleek eyebrow pencil in brown 191. And then I literally just draw a tiny little line at the front of my eyebrows and then just drag the pencil through, just filling in any gaps. Then to set my brows, I use this Benefit Ready Set Brow. I find that this is really, really good for keeping the hairs in place and the pencil in place as well. So now that we've done our brows, I am going to start on my eye makeup. So first up, I'm just gonna go in with a nice base color and I'm using this light shade here. Next up, I'm gonna use this really pretty shimmery brown in the Body Shop palette and I'm gonna use this in my crease just to give the eyes a little bit of depth. Urban Decay Smoky Palette and I'm going to use Radar and using a different brush I'm just going to pop this over the top because again it's got a really nice kind of shimmery bronze tone to it which I think will work really nicely with these shades. And then again just to add a little bit more depth and darkness I'm going to go in with a shade called Whiskey and this is the darkest brown in the palette. I'm going to apply this to the crease just to make this look a little bit more smoky. Then grabbing my smaller brush, I'm going to take a little bit of that darker shade and pop it under my eyes as well. So once I've done that, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. The mascara I'm using at the moment is this Volume Million Lashes and this is amazing. It's by L'Oreal and I find that this gives my lashes such amazing length and thickness. I just absolutely love it at the moment. Then on my bottom lashes, I'm actually going to use a different mascara. I'm going to use this one by Pure, and this is the Triple Threat Mascara, and the brush is tiny. And then just because I feel like the eyes might need a little bit of eyeliner, I'm going to go in with my favourite eyeliner ever. This is the Super Liner by L'Oreal Ultra Precision Liner, and it is so good. To finish this look off, I'm going to go in with a really dark autumnal shade of lipstick and this is the Kat Von D Everlasting Lipstick in the shade Lolita. So there you go 
guys, that is the finished makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you do attempt this makeup look on yourself or use any of these products, please make sure you tag me in your photos. My name on all social media is Tiny Twist, and all direct links can be found below, of course. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. It'd be lovely to have you along. And do give this video a nice big thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well. And also, while we're on it, I love when you guys comment on my videos and tell me like what you liked, what you don't like, what products you've used, and all that kind of thing. So please do leave your comments below. And if you've tried any of these amazing Kat Von D um, liquid lipsticks, let me know which colour is your favourite because I think I need more. So um, yeah, I want to know which one's your favourite. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you as always for watching. I hope you have a really lovely day and I'll see you again very soon for another video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye! Mwah!